Hey, what's up? It's Ben here. So today I want to show you guys how to set up a trailing stop order on the Weeble desktop app. And by the way, this is not options trading related. This is just normal trading if you want to call it that way. And the reason why you want to do something like this is just to mitigate risk and minimize risk if you when you have a position. You could do other you could use this strategy for other reasons, but the whole the sole reason, the whole premise of this is just to minimize risk or mitigate risk. So without further ado, I'm just go ahead and show you how to do it on the desktop version. The app version is really relatively easy to do. So let's say uh, for this example, I'm going to use gap uh, for my example and the ticker symbol is GPS. So currently I have three position and that 0 0.05112 is just fractional share. I uh, got it at $14.74 and now it's trading around $12.51, right? So, and this is after hours, if you haven't already noticed, or it's not even after hours, it's completely closed right now. Uh, uh, so right now, just think of it, the market is $12.51. Uh, so in order to do, to do the uh, trailing stop order, uh, you're gonna have to click on this and close position. And if you don't have this set up right, right over here, just go on, under your position and you'll find your stock. And if you want this to be uh, showing up here, all you have to do is right click on the chart, go on uh, chart settings, and then go on trade right over here and then just toggle this on and off. If you toggle this off, it's gonna disappear. If you have this on, it's gonna show up. So that's how you do it. That's how you find it on the, the chart itself. So right now I have this, click on this, close position, and you can only do this on whole shares. You can't do this on fractional shares uh, because they just won't allow you to do it. And then just hover over this and click on the one that says close in, uh, close in order entry. So when you, once you click on this, the order entry will show up right over here. And by the way, this is just my whole, my all, my all, my full three shares, right? Quantity. I'm gonna just narrow down to one. And the order type is where you're gonna find your trailing stop. So click on the order type and then click on trailing stop. Once that's set up, you'll see the trailing amount. So what it means that if you set in a dollar amount, let's say I just set it for one dollar, right? One dollar. This means that I have a stop at you know eleven dollars and fifty one cents. So currently right now the market is twelve dollars and fifty one. And if I put a one dollar stop, that means uh, a one dollar trailing amount. So that means I get stopped out at uh, eleven dollars and fifty one cents. And if that ever, if the uh, if the price ever hits eleven dollars and fifty one cents, I'll get or or lower, I'll get executed. So basically, I'll start selling that one uh, one share that I have uh, on G on GPS. So that's the whole idea of it. And if the stock were to move up, let's say if the stock price were to go to uh, $12.55, then the trailing amount will also go up. So in this case, if it goes up to $12.55, it'll move up to $11.55. But if it do drop down to like, let's say $12.40, it'll still be at $11.55. That, that new stop will be in place and will not go down because the stock price goes down. But if for some reason it goes all the way down to $11.55, then you'll st it'll start executing your order and it'll start selling. So I hope that kind of gives you a better idea of uh, how it's being utilized. And, then, and then I'll give you another example. So if it goes up to, let's say, if this $12.51 goes shoots up to $13.51, now your new stop will be at $12.51. And it will not move down uh, unless you know it hits that stock and it hits that price and then you start executing it. It'll only adjust when it goes up. You know, okay? So hope that kind of explains it. I know uh, it's a little bit complicated if you're just starting out, but if you hit the J button a couple of times, go back and rewatch it so again, it'll for sure help you out <laughs> later on. So, and there's there's the price amount that you can set it at, and then there's also a percentage amount. So percentage, just think of percentage, a 5%, you could do a 5% uh, uh, trailing amount. And so basically it's got 5% of that $12.51 is, I, I can't do my math, but you get the idea of it. It's it's like the dollar amount, but in this, in this case, it's a percentage amount. So that's the good side about it. But there is a downside about this, uh, setting it up on Weeble. So the downside is that the 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 it's only for the day okay there's no good to cancel the time and force is just gonna be for the day and and also you cannot add uh you cannot have this to be extended hours so it's only good from 9 30 a.m till 4 p.m eastern time so uh during the training hours so that's 
that's the only downside of this. If it goes to, you know, if it lasts forever, if it's good to cancel and has extend hour, that'll be like super, super, super good. But as of now, it's only for the day. So that's how you set it up and just go ahead and place order for that. And even though my, um, my cost basis is $14.74, it just goes by the market price that you're actually setting it up. So right, right now, if I were to set it up and it's during the day, it's going to be based off of this market price, $12.51. And if I have that, you know, maybe the 50 cents or $1 uh, trailing amount, it'll just adjust, reflect off of this. So hope that gives you a little bit better idea. And the me main reason, again, the main reason to use something like this is just to minimize risk. And I, not a lot of users use this, uh, it's, especially this is going to be for like day traders that have multiple trades going on and they want to get in and out uh, really quick or they, they don't have time to see like, you know, 20 of the trades. And by the way, if you're a day trader, you're probably not doing like 20 trades. You're focusing on a couple of, uh, of uh, stocks. So this is something that you're probably not gonna go if you have a stock long term and you want to be using this. Uh, you probably won't do something like this, but it's good to know and it's good to know how this function is even used, uh, how this tool is even used. So it comes in handy. And by the way, you could do one that's actually you could you could do instead of a sell, right? You could do a buy, right? You could also do a trailing stop. The reason why you want to do this is because if you think that it's gonna gap up five percent. You, later on down the road, it'll start jumping even higher. So that's the intuition about you know why you want to have a trailing stop order for a buy order. So if it if let's say for instance right now it's trading at twelve dollars and fifty one cents, and for some reason in the next couple of hours it gaps up to like you know thirteen dollars or or thirteen dollars and fifty one cents. Now that I'm saying that oh I'm gonna be buying. I'll put my trailing amount to a dollar and if it gaps up to $13.51, I'll start buying. And the whole idea is that if it gaps up that high, uh, then it'll gap up even more. So that's how, you know, traders will think, oh, they'll start making money. But for beginners who are just jumping in, you're probably not going to be doing something like this because, because not a lot of people even do this. I don't even do this. I rather, you know, look at the stock and, and see the movement itself instead of just, you know, having this price, you know, set up for the day. So like I said, again, this is basically for day traders. Not a lot of people will use this, but it's a good, good, good tool to, you know, have in, in case you ever want to do something for your day, you know, until if, if we both decide to lift this up to, uh, get change this day to good to cancel or have extended hour, then this, this tool right here will be really, really good. It will be really good. I'm telling you. <laughs> so anyways, if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below. I know I'll ramble off a little bit longer than usual, but I just want to get you guys familiar with this tool. And by the way, if you haven't already downloaded Weeble yet, feel free to do so. They're still giving out free stocks. And by the way, they, they have paper trading on options too. Paper trade on the account. You don't even have to buy anything. You don't. Have, you just have to find your account, get the free stock, and if you want to, you know, you know, withdraw all the money out from the stock, you could simply do that and just get the free money. Anyways, like I said again, drop a comment down below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible, and I'll see you guys next week.